So I'm going to attempt to show you how to do a floating button in MacDroid as quickly as possible. When you first install MacDroid, um, you're going to need your developer options. Uh, you know, you hit this seven times or whatever, and then you get your developer options. You're going to need to go in to, I believe, debugging, USB debugging. I, I'm assuming that's usually what needs to be on for almost everything. Um, anyways, uh, there's also a ton of, you need the accessibility to be on and you need a ton of permissions to be on. Anyway, what I really want to show you though is what I made. So this button right here is a floating uh, toggle. I have nothing open, I touch it, I, I get this. This is my touch portal. This, if you don't know, is a console, like a stream deck, that will allow you to interface with your Windows computer through your phone or tablet, your Android. Uh, so you can do all kinds of fun stuff with that. I touch it again, and then I get my other application. In this case, it's Space Desk, which is a wireless transmission of your Windows environment to uh, another Android or uh, tablet, and you, Android uh, phone or tablet. And if you touch on your tablet, it will actually be a, a touched interface, a wireless second monitor on your Windows computer. Uh, which is very handy. Um, so if go into MacDroid, made a Mac, I actually made a MacDroid shortcut uh, with MacDroid. Very meta. So um, if you go down to the bottom, a bunch of ways you can do this, but if I hit macros. These are the ones that I've already made. Uh, this one is what you will be making in a second here. Um, but let's start from the top. So if we go back, press the plus icon, and then the first thing we're going to do is hit plus at the top right here. And then you're going to find, uh, normally you could search for it using the search function up here, but because of the way I'm scre screening this, it's not going to give me that option. It's blocked out all the text um, display. Anyway, so if I go into, normally I would type in a uh, floating button, but uh, I'm going to have to actually just search for it. So at the bottom here, user input, first option, floating button, and we can actually add an icon of our own devising. This will give you some default options that are on your tablet or phone. If I hit user, then I can actually go in and I can add custom ones. I made this in Photoshop. I'm going to select it, hit, and then you can actually change the size of the icon if you want. You can change the opacity and some other options, but we're just going to go ahead and hit OK for now. Next option, plus on the right here for your action, we're going to launch an application. I'm going to select application, hit OK. We're going to look for, we can do this actually in any order because we can change it later. So I'm just going to grab whatever I find first that I want. So um, let's do QRS, so Space Desk. Hit OK, and we're going to exclude. OK. Tap plus again, application, launch application, select. Now we're looking for touch portal and exclude. Okay. So these are the two apps. One more thing we need is a loop condition. So this is your if statements. I'm going to do if clause and plus again, we need to look for Everything's in my way. Uh, device state. And application running and foreground. Okay. What uh, confused me at first was trying to find the else statements, but I'll show you that in a second. Um, so Again, we can do this in different orders, but what we really want is the first thing. So the first thing we want to launch is Touch Portal. I hit OK. 
Okay again. And so if I hit the up and down arrows, this will give me an option to rearrange the order of things. So I'm gonna move this up. You got your if. And now I want an else. So I'm gonna tap the if itself. Now I got a series of options and I want the else, add else. And again, we're gonna move it up. The first thing we want is actually to launch uh, it looks a little counterintuitive, but we want if app foreground touch portal is tapped, if the button is tapped, then it's going to toggle to the second option, which is space desk. If this isn't the case, if touch portal is actually on, it'll do the it'll do the opposite. So if these are, these will toggle between the two of them, and if this isn't on, if neither of these are on, it'll actually launch touch portal to begin with, and then it'll work from there. I'm going to go to the top right here, three dots, the very bottom, save changes, and there we go, we have our own little button. And you can actually see the old one is there still, and you can have both of them, and they'll both function no matter which one you press. And if, for whatever reason, if you accidentally close these out, if you, uh, if you clear out everything, what you've done is you've cleared uh, out. Let's see, do this again. Not seeing the clear option. Well, if I drag these down, I get rid of these either by clearing it out or by accidentally dragging it into the trash. In order to get them back, there's a couple things you can try. The first thing you can try is to reopen. Uh, Mac droid. Macro droid. I keep saying Mac droid. It's macro droid. Um, and if you go into macros again, and there's all these little toggle buttons. These are on and off. If I, if everything's off, and then I go put everything back on, and I go down to the button I want, it should reappear. But sometimes that doesn't happen. If it, that doesn't happen, if it, for whatever reason, isn't showing up, you can try to go to your settings and you can force, um, you can go into your app. See, it's not giving me the, uh, the search. You just do it manually. So if I go into apps and I find macro droid, I should be able to force stop it. Okay, and then go back and try again. And you can toggle these on and off. And if that, and if that doesn't work, then you can just restart your tablet. But that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks, bye.